I'm Pat Mayo talking about the best defensive streams for weeks 14 weeks 15, and week 16 in your season-long fantasy football lineups because we've now entered the fantasy playoffs, which means you can start proactively going ahead in your lineups. Listen, if you've made the fantasy playoffs, you have to play like you're going to win. Obviously, you need to win each of your games to get to the fantasy championship, but bench positions mean a whole lot less this time of season. You don't need your wide receiver five because you're not going to play your wide receiver five at this point in the season. You don't need a sixth running back who is in a fringy situation. What you need to be do is stacking your team up by looking ahead to week 15 and to week 16 and, and populating your team with running back handcuffs in order to get the maximum amount of potential out of your team. So when I talk about running back handcuffs, I like Gabriel Davis as much as the next person, but if he's never going to sniff your starting roster, you don't need him as a backup wide receiver at this point. The guys that you should really be putting onto your roster, Latavius Murray and Jamal Williams, if they are unowned on your team, if the starters go down in New Orleans or Green Bay, these guys are top 10 running backs. All of a sudden you get a free pickup and... I have a top 10 running back on your team. That's a guy you might actually play. Not one of these, not the Frank Gores of the world, uh, although Frank Gore is currently injured, but you, you see what I'm saying here. You don't need Philip Lindsay on your roster anymore uh, unless he is a there for a pure handcuff. You're not going to play him. So you need just to think about handcuffs moving forward. Like uh, Tony Pollard is another one. If something happens to Zeke, not that Zeke is great by any means, but all of a sudden Tony Pollard would enter the running back two conversation for the rest of the season should anything happen to Zeke. That's where you should be allocating your bench spots right now because not on, whether you use them or not is kind of irrelevant. Whether you have the starter or not is also irrelevant irrelevant because you take them off the waiver wire so your opponents cannot pick them up to play against you and you might screw over one of the other teams there's nothing wrong with hoarding talent at this time of the season just like looking ahead to the waiver wire for weeks 14 15 and 16 for weeks 14 washington san francisco houston seattle and kansas city all really good pickups for defense are all probably going to be top 12 defenses. Now, if you have a good defense, continue to ride them, obviously. But if you're playing the streaming game, that's where you should be looking for week 14. For week 15, Buffalo is at Denver, picking on Drew Locke. Never a terrible idea. Tennessee at home against Detroit in a situation where they're starting to get to the passer a little bit more. Don't let the Browns game fool you too much. Tennessee's defense isn't that atrocious. They might give up points, but when you have Stafford having to throw like 50 times during a game, a good position to be in. Arizona at home against Philly in week 15. I like it. Seattle once again at home against Washington. I know they just lost to the Giants, but a really nice playoff defense schedule for a team that once again has started to get more pressure as the weeks have gone along. The return of Jamal Adams has really helped that out significantly. Kansas City at New Orleans as well. If that's a situation where Taysom Hill is still playing quarterback and Kansas City can jump up in that game, I mean, it's one thing when Taysom has the ability to run the ball and they're ahead and make some high percentage throws. What happens when Taysom Hill's in catch-up mode? I don't know. That's a situation where you probably want the opposing defense uh, before we actually find that out. Week 16, a lot of people drop the Bears. They could be available on your waiver wire. They're at Jacksonville in week 16. San Francisco at home against Arizona. I mean, I doubt that Kyler Murray shoulder is going to be 100% by then. And we've already seen San Francisco put up good numbers against the Cardinals so far. And their defense should presumably, unless something happens, be even healthier at that point. No Bosa, but almost everyone else should be back on that Niners defense. The Chargers at home against Denver. Houston at home against Cincinnati. Washington at home against Carolina, another attacking defense going up against a bad offensive line. So you can use the different pieces and bench spots on your season-long fantasy roster to figure all this out. You want the full list of playoff rankings and defense rankings through weeks 14 and 15 and 16. Head on over to dkplaybook.com right now. My waiver wire article is posted with all of the rankings in them. All right, we'll see you soon.